Hello everybody, this is John Jameson behind the camera. This is my associate in front of me, Mr. Bob Lynch, and we're going to be taking you through a property today here in lovely East Point, Michigan. Uh, before we actually get into the property, I want to walk you, I want to take you through the video of going up and down the street because this is not going to be the kind of street you think of when you hear of Detroit. Okay, so very quickly, I just want to pan. Here's the particular home we're going to go into in a minute. We're going to give you a walking tour of it. And here's the streets. Lovely brick homes, as far as the eye can see. Well manicured, beautiful trees, well kept properties, and you won't believe what you can be into this property for and what it'll rent for. Okay, so this is a, any old street in Metro Detroit. And between Bob and I, we probably have, I don't know, Bob, what, 65 years of combined experience between us? That's correct. We've been doing this an awful long time. So, Bob, why don't we take a walk? We'll take them up the front walk and into the house. Okay, John, let's do that. All right. Guys, this is a HUD home, meaning the federal government owns it, and they want to liquidate it. All right. This is a brick ranch. And here's the living room. See, it's got a nice fireplace with the old-style slate with a mirror behind it. Hardwood floors, where you could have redone. They're not in bad shape at all. Double side light. A really nice picture window. The windows in this house have all been updated. They're not brand new, but they're not brand old either. They've got uh, some years on them, but they also look in pretty good shape. They're vinyl replacement windows. So this is the main living room. Fabio, I'm walking through the kitchen. So Bob, if you were, we were to buy this for a client, what do you anticipate we'd be doing in this kitchen? Uh, I think we'd see either refinish the cupboards or paint them. Yep. Put in new countertops, floors in great condition, the ceramic tile in the kitchen is fantastic condition. Yeah, I think somebody, we walked through this house just briefly before we shot the video. We think somebody was in the tile business when this was built, because let me show you this. This is pretty rare in a house like this, that you have a built-in stove, which obviously we'd have to replace that, but look at all the wraparound with the ceramic tile. Very nice shape. State-of-the-art oven comes with this particular home. Ha, okay, maybe we'll have to put an oven in it. But again, we're just gonna spruce it up, probably put some new handles on it, new countertop, probably new sink. We're gonna, of course, paint everything, put fixtures where they need to be, because there's some missing. A little built-in china cabinet over there. You got a pantry. Got a pantry here. Okay, so not a whole bunch of work needs to be done to this. Want to take them down the hallway, Bob? We'll show them the bedrooms. Let's go down. So this is a three-bedroom broad front ranch. It yeah, is brick construction. Here, since it's a hut house, the electric's off, so it yeah. might be a little dark. But this, this is a very large, it's got three large bedrooms today. All with hardwood floors throughout. This is probably, this one here is probably 150 square foot. The bedroom itself, yeah. The bedroom itself. Old intercom system that we're betting doesn't work, and we won't try to get it to work. Pop in some new fixtures. Again, we paint everything. We'll get the hardwood floors re redone throughout the whole house. Lovely pink bedroom. You gotta pay extra for this in California. Nice size closets. Again, of course, we'll paint everything. Replacement windows, this looks out in the front. Same view that you have from the living room. It's in this bedroom here. First two bedrooms, actually. And the third bedroom is on the back of the house. Still nice size. Needs a paint job, needs the floors refinished, and it needs a, a fixture. That's about it. Well, should we take them down to the basement, yeah. and then we'll take them outside in the backyard real quick. Well, the bathroom. Oh, that's right. Let's look at the bathroom. Ceramic tile. Bathroom is in nice, obviously it's dated, because if you were to redo a bathroom today, you probably wouldn't do this, but it's in very nice shape. You can see that the ceramic tile, again, wraps the entire tub. That's not normal. So I think somebody many years ago was in the tile business. So guys, we're not going to do much to this. You know, we're going to paint it as long as, assuming the commode's working, uh, we're going to leave everything in place, paint it, probably spruce up the, the hardware on the, the cabinets a little bit. And as long as everything's functional, we're going to leave it that way because we can make this look really nice for not a whole bunch of money. 
It's going to be your money we're spending. We want to spend as little as we can. The hall closet. All right, we're going to take you down the basement. Now, we're here in the Midwest. Basements are quite prevalent here. I know some people uh, here from the West Coast or close to the West Coast, you don't have basements, not familiar with them. Quite dark down here. You're not going to be able to see a whole bunch because it is a hut house. So we have no electricity. But basically, it's underneath the whole house. We had some lights down here. We, here's what we would do. We'd probably throw some indoor-outdoor carpeting over here. There's probably a little water seepage over here that we've taken note of. Probably have to get that wall waterproofed. Not a whole bunch of money. A lot of people think that it is, but it's not. The rest of the basement walls are solid. They're plumb. There's no buckles in them. There's no big cracks. All the walls are exposed so you can see them because all the paneling has been ripped down by somebody else. Let me take it underneath the window. Cinder block basement. And they're all in good shape. Solid, straight walls. Let me take you real quickly and we'll get out of here back to the mechanics, which is your furnace and hot water tank. These are in here right now. And I don't know exactly how old that furnace is, but it's not that old. It's in pretty good shape. And we, our bet is that it works and will work for a lot of years to come. Same with the hot water tank. That's been updated. It's got copper plumbing. Basement walls are in good shape in here as well. And Bob, with that, why don't we take them upstairs to the sun porch and then out in the backyard. Sure. Well, we'll conclude our tour of this house. Okay, back up into the kitchen. In particular house has a little, cute little sun porch on it. It's not all weather, so it's just a summer porch, basically. Put a little table and chairs out here. Go out in the backyard in a minute. Here's your neighbors, all the backyards. Let's go out this door. Okay, got a central air unit. I've seen worse. Probably works, we won't know that for a fact. But it does have central air. It's got all aluminum trim with the main brick. Your sun porch. Here's the garage. Nice solid two car garage. The whole house has a new roof on it, newer, with dimensional shingles. They did the garage as well, and sometimes they don't to save money, but this whoever did it in the past did, which is good. Backyard's cute. Just needs uh, some chopping down, some pulling, a little watering. Not going to take much to really make this cute. Hey, your neighbors, you got geese. Little pond. Now, basically, um, we think you could probably be all into this property for about, how uh, do we say about 70000 You're About seventy. Okay. And do we know what the property taxes are on this one yet? Uh, they're in the kind of... The non-homestead taxes are probably in East Point going to be somewhere around twenty-two, twenty-three hundred a year. Okay, so let's just round it to two hundred dollars a month for taxes. You're going to be looking at probably another seventy or eighty dollars a month for insurance on this. Okay, you're going to pay a management fee, but guys, this thing will rent for about eleven hundred dollars. So that could very easily leave you six to seven hundred dollars a month of net positive cash flow every after everything's paid on a seventy thousand dollar investment. That's not all bad. Okay, now, there we also have less expensive homes than this. This one happens to be all brick, happens to be a little farther north. Um, we also have homes that might not be all brick, but they're solid three bedrooms. And those, you might be all in for 55 to 65 maybe, something like that. And those will rent for anywhere between 850 and 950 as a general rule. And we'll maybe show you a couple of those as well. So hope you enjoyed the tour. We're going to have some other videos, look at some other properties, and reach out to us. Um, always go to the another website we have is wealthwithoutstocks.com. Make sure you pick up a copy of my book. We talk about income properties in there as well as dozens and dozens of other strategies to make money without the stock market. And if you think you'd like to own one or several of these kind of properties, that's what we do. We go out, we find them, we do everything for you so you can reap rewards from it. 
and stay at your job or your business. And you're welcome to fly into town if you'd like to. Some people do that. We spend half a day with them, look at a bunch of properties, drive neighborhoods. But this day and age with videos and all the things we can do, a lot of people don't find that necessary, but you're certainly welcome. So again, this has been John Jameson and Mr. Bob Lynch. Thanks for stopping by at this particular house. We'll talk to you soon.